Hey guys, it's Ari, back again with another video. Uh. Hey guys, it's Ari, back again with another video, and today I'm going to be doing an Ari Advice video. I know that y'all love these videos on my channel. Um, if you haven't watched my last one, go watch it because I find them very interesting. If you are new to my channel, <laughs> my air advice videos are when you guys send me emails with any crazy stories or questions that you have I read it to the area army I give you advice and they can also give you advice in the comment section down below um, I keep you completely anonymous so that you you know you don't feel like you putting your business out there you just feel like you're just talking to somebody and you know we all chatting about the situation because the whole point is to help people in general like somebody could be going through a similar situation that you're going through and they can find help through the video. That's happened to me with like different YouTubers that do advice videos like this. Whew. I'm out of breath. This pregnancy, y'all. This pregnancy. Let's just get right on to the emails. If you want to be featured in my next area advice video, you can email me at airybeauty1997 at gmail.com with your story and I will feature you in the next one. Okay, so the first email says, hey Ari, first thing I want to say congratulations, girl. You are working your pregnancy and you are glowing, girl. Thank you, girl. Okay. Um, I'm, messing, I'm messaging you because due to some unfortunate circumstances, I will not be receiving financial aid for school and I, and, I am, and I am to start my second year of college in the fall. I tried to get a loan to cover my costs, but my parents and grandparents have been denied. Now I'm not asking for money. No, I'm not asking for money, but what I'm asking you is do you have any tips on how to get a scholarship. I do not want to stop attending school because this past school year I made Dean's List and I have acquired an internship through the school so please if you have any advice um, contact me. Um, and then she left her Instagram and all of that. Well honey, here it is in the area advice. So. Basically, I think I was in I was in a situation as extreme as yours, but I was in a situation to where I did need some more money because housing at Kennesaw State University is so expensive. And so I didn't want to stop living on campus my second semester freshman year. Um, I did enter school with a scholarship, but like I said, it wasn't enough to pay for that expensive, you know, housing. So what I ended up doing was I did end up getting a scholarship. Um, and the way I got that scholarship was by just re researching on my school's website um, about scholarship opportunities. That's the best way. Personally, I feel like that's the best way for college students to get scholarships is through their school, not through like those websites like scholarship.com. What about Chegg, I think is one of them. Like all those little scholarship sites, like millions of people are on it and it's like, your chance of winning a scholarship is like playing the lottery. You know what I'm saying? It's not it's it's not dependable and I feel like most of them are scams, honestly. So, if you're looking for a scholarship, you should look through your school. You said you made the dean's list, so your grades are good. You can get a scholarship, girl. All you got to do is um, look through your school's website at the scholarships and see what you got to do because those are the scholarships that are that really be given out and that students really don't be looking at like that. So yeah, I hope that helped. So the next email says, Hey, I love your channel. I've been with my boyfriend for just about a year and I found out that he has been cheating on me the entire relationship. Mm -hmm. I sort of had an opportunity to leave when things hit rock bottom, but he rubbed things in my face and basically let me know that he's still messing with the girl. I didn't leave because I wanted to work. I wanted it to work. I have a friend who knows the girl and she told me things that he's been telling me but saying it to the girl. I love him but my feelings aren't all all right. How do you how do you bring it up and break up with him but without it being so out of nowhere? I know he won't tell me about it, but I want him to slip up. Girl, if I was you, I would just leave. I would just leave. Let me tell you. Let me tell you. Let me tell you a little experience that I had. My ex-boyfriend, a guy that I was dating fall semester, sophomore year, I found out he wasn't loyal through a friend because she told me that basically, he was basically trying to talk to other girls, basically. That's basically what it was. And so all I did, I called him up and I said, oh, so you trying to talk to other girls? Da -da 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 -da. You think I'm stupid? 
and I was like, um, you know what? It's over. It's done with. That's disrespectful. I'm not about to take disrespect from you. And um, you ain't about to have me out here looking stupid. And you saying all this stuff to me, but you really don't mean it. So that this shows me how you really feel about me. So we're done. And that was that. And trust me, you feel, listen, staying in a relationship where you know somebody doing you wrong, that's just unhealthy because it's just like they stress you out. You know what I'm saying? They take away your glow. You know what I'm saying? So cut them off, girl. That's all you got to do just cut them off. You don't even have to say nothing to them, honestly. You could not say nothing to them. But, I mean, if... I suggest, you know, you call him up and say, oh, so you're trying to do this, don't let him sweet talk you, do it over the phone and don't do it in person because when you when you break up with somebody in person, they try to be touching all on you and stuff and try to persuade you not to and you don't want to give him the chance to do that. So you, you tell him, you can even tell him over text, but I mean, if you want to be more respectful, you can, even though he's, dis, he's being disrespectful, you can call him and you can be like, you know what, I see that we just not seeing eye to eye on what a relationship is supposed to be, so I'm done with you. And that's what you need to do. That's what I did, and you will feel way better. You will find somebody way better, because you don't deserve that. You don't, queen, you don't deserve that. You don't deserve to be treated like that, okay? Um, you deserve way better than that, and um, he will really, he know, listen, if you continue to let him, he gonna continue to do it. So just go ahead and drop it. Just drop it. But ain't no need working it out because there's nothing to work out. He's not loyal. There's nothing to work out. So yeah, I hope that helps. So the next email says, Hey Ari, I love your videos and you're a wonderful person. I need your advice on something that has been troubling me for some time. I'll soon be turning 17 and I've never had a boyfriend. The most upsetting part is that guys don't usually ask me out. I've had only one serious guy who wanted me to be his girlfriend but honestly wasn't really into him that much <clears throat> excuse me um i'm the first i'm in my first year of college and and throughout when i was in secondary school girls would always talk to guys who were interested in them and their boyfriends but i didn't have anything to say on the topic so i would just keep quiet when they were talking as time went on i started thinking that something was wrong with me and I would always ask myself every day, why aren't guys interested in me? This messed this messed up with my self this messed up with my self confidence and ruined my self esteem. Okay. I started feeling that I wasn't as beautiful as the other girls, and that was probably the reason why guys didn't ask me out. I'm not trying to blow my trumpet, but I'm a really nice, friendly, and intelligent girl. I know it might seem that I'm overreacting since I'm still young, but I can't help but to feel that way because even the girls that I feel like I'm better than in some certain areas have boyfriends and other guys all over them. So why is my case different? I talked to my best friend about it and he said I shouldn't worry about it and focus on myself and that it's easier said than done. I really like your advice on this issue and also some ways to stop feeling bad about having been single all my life. I wish you good luck in everything that you're doing. Thanks. Okay, so I did feel this certain type of way at a certain point in time. I think I was probably like in middle school where I felt this certain type of way and that's because I was also bullied for being skinny and I just, I just, boys just did not like me. Like, I, I just was, I had this big natural hair. All the other girls' hair was relaxed and straight and all this stuff. Yeah, I was just, I, I'm gonna admit, I was, I was an ugly duckling in, in middle school. But, here's the thing. Here's the thing that you are missing. First of all, the guy that is for you will be for you and you won't even have to worry about, like, going to catch him. You won't have to worry about this and this and that. Because he gonna already be for you. He gonna see you and he gonna want you. That's thesis. Also, another thing is stop comparing yourself to your friends and this girl and that girl that you think you better than because at the end of the day, you don't know what's going on in a relationship. You don't know the ins and outs. You don't know how that boy really feel about her. You don't know how this guy really feels about that girl. You don't know what that guy really wants from that girl. You don't know. So stop comparing yourself to these people because you don't, you don't know, you know, what's really going down at the end of the day. You might think you know. Just because such and such got a boyfriend, that don't mean that their relationship is 
all what it's cracked up to be. Just like your friend said, it's, it's easier said than done. Like, people be dating people for five years and a boyfriend be cheating on them the whole time. Like, dead serious. So, like, don't compare yourself to people. Don't do it because it's, it's not worth it. You'll be stressing yourself out for no reason. Like, that's in any situation, really. Not even with boyfriends. Like, in any situation, such and such got a new car, such and such... I don't know, got a scholarship, such and such did that. You don't know what's really going on in their life, so stop comparing yourself to people. That's number two. Number three is, I agree with your friend. You should focus on yourself because that focus on yourself glow attracts people. It does. It just seems like every time I'm looking for a relationship, that's when like I never find one. But when I'm just focused on myself doing me saying, you know what, forget about it, whatever, whoever's for me, for me, that's when... Like, I get messages all the time. People are always trying to talk to me, da, da 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 So it may be because you're looking that you're not finding nothing. So I would suggest that you chill out, focus on yourself. Don't compare yourself to people because you don't know what's going on in and out of the relationship because some real unhealthy stuff be going on in a relationship. So, yeah. And, you know, just do you. And the guy for you will come to you, trust me. I know it may be hard that I'm saying this because you're like, well, I ain't never had nobody interested in me all my life. But... You will have your time, sister. You will have your time. Because if you go looking, you're going to find something that you ain't want to find. So, you know what? Just mind your business and, you know, do you. Okay, so the last email reads, Hey, Ari, I hope you're feeling well. Congratulations on your pregnancy. It's truly a blessing. I'm 19 years old and 33 weeks, so eight months. Ooh, girl, you almost done, honey. Um, the father and I are not together because he isn't the type of person I want. It's easy for me to let him go, but the fact that he's my son's father makes it so hard. I want my son to have a father figure in his life, and I'm afraid that his father won't be that figure. I never had my dad in my life, and I want my children to have a father in theirs. What do you think? Will I ever meet someone new who will love me and my baby to be? Do you think I'll be a single mom forever? Do you think that my baby will be okay regardless. I would like to hear your input since we both, since we both are single moms to be and are around the same age. Thank you for reading Gorgeous. And also enjoy the second trimester while you can because once you reach the third trimester, 28 weeks, you'll completely pop. Girl, I can't wait to reach the third trimester, honestly. Um, but you'll love your baby bump. I'm so small, girl, as well. And I'm so huge, even though I'm about seven weeks left. Oh, girl, I can't wait. Tom, where you at? Okay. Excuse me. Dang, I'm burping. Okay. First of all, I'm about to answer your questions. Never had dad in my life. Da, 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 da. What do you think? Will I meet someone new who will love me and my baby to be? Yes. Um. Do you think I'll be a single mom forever? No. <laughs> Do you think my baby will be okay regardless? Yes, okay? I feel like I actually touched on this in a vlog. Go back to my vlogs because I did talk about this in depth and detail because somebody had commented on my video that really irritated me. They said um, it irritated me because it was just misleading in a way and it was just like, Basically, the lady was saying, you need to find a father figure for your baby because if not, your baby could turn out like this, like this, like this, and like that. There are so many successful, prosperous people without a father in their life, but you know what? They do end up finding father figures in other people. You know what I'm saying? So, a father is not just biological, sweetheart. A father is a father, okay? Um, so, that's one. And so, I thought that was really misleading because a lot of single moms out here will go out looking for men just because they don't just because they have a kid and end up having all these different men in and out their kids lives and that would just like mess the like whole thing up like a kid doesn't need all these different men in and out their life like you know what that causes trust issues you know what i'm saying so i suggest that you be patient and i'm gonna give you the same advice that i just gave old girl who said that she ain't never had a boy interested in her I'll give you the same advice because this is the this is what i'm doing Okay, this is what I'm doing. We in this together. Sit back, chill out, don't look. You know, focus on your baby. Focus on loving your baby the best that you can. Don't focus on men because men will disappoint you. Man will disappoint you. That's in the Bible. Man will disappoint. Focus on your baby and focus on God. 
and the man that's for you will come into your life. You know what I'm saying? That's what I'm doing. The man that's for me, I know he will come into my life and I won't have to look for him. The man is supposed to seek you out. Don't seek him out. The man is supposed to seek you out. Okay? So yeah, you're going to find somebody, girl. We're going to find somebody, girl. It's okay. Um, You know, whoever's supposed to be for us will be for us and they will love you and your baby. Why wouldn't whoever's for you not love you and your baby? They're for you. That's what they. That's what God made them for. You know what I'm saying? So you be straight. Just focus on yourself. Don't go looking because you. Like I said, if you go looking, you gonna find something that you want to find and be in something you ain't want to be into. The man is supposed to find you. So yeah. Yeah, guys, that is it for my area advice video. Area Army, hook them up with some advice down in the comments below. Also, if you are new to my channel, go ahead and hit the subscribe button and hit the notification button so that you can be a part of the notification squad because the area army is going to come up and we're taking them YouTube one video at a time. Always remember, don't stress, stay blessed and out. Bye!